Hello guys, how are you? Guys, do you program in Python programming? And do you love programming for the GUI applications? And do you prefer PyQt5 or PySide? Then you must have faced a problem that when you use Qt designer or Qt creator for making your GUI and then converting into py file from UI file and then suppose if you have to change something in your UI and again uh, after modification you will have to change the py etc then you are at right place here in this video we will see that how can we use our Qt designer UI file into our python programs without converting it into py files and we will access all of the widgets all of the windows all of the dialog boxes so how can we do that let's see here suppose in this folder i have made one ui called app.ui and this looks like this this is simple login screen without any css it is just a login screen username password and the login okay if you will convert it into py file then how it will look let me show you you will convert it with using pyuic5 right pyuic5 slash x app dot ui and then output file suppose app dot py okay like this you convert and now you can open your app and then you will see here this is the code and if you will run it then it will show the ui right but suppose you have done something in your py file some changes some of the methods you have written some of the other logics like css or any of the other programs you have done in your py file then it will be not included in your ui right then it will cause you the problem that you will again convert the app.ui file into py file if you will do any changes in your ui file like adding some widgets you will just make the changes again so it will just be a headache so we will see in this video that we we can directly use our ui in our python program without converting into py okay so how can you do that let me show you here you will see that in this program it is written that from pyqt5 import qt core qt ui qt users let's import one more thing that is called uic okay and now what we will do is we can direct uh, we can just make an init method here first okay it is very necessary because in classes we used the initialization method okay and now uh, we can do something here okay and we can directly remove all these, these things all these things we can remove okay and what I will do is uh, I can remove these things too okay these things too I can remove so let's comment it out right now and now under init method I will just load this app.ui file in our program we will make a variable suppose uh, it is called like uh, ui okay ui is equal to i will call uic dot i will use one method here called load ui and under this i will pass the path of this ui file okay if it is in current directory then i can directly pass app.ui right okay so we have done and now i can call ui dot show method to show the window okay so done and now uh, we can call this class okay suppose i have changed the class name uh, like my app okay like application like this okay and now i can come here and i can directly call the class 
and after showing our UI file, let's make one method called run. Okay, and under this, let's pass self, and then uh, under this, what I will do is I was I am trying to call this application in our class, and we can execute with using this method. Okay, so we can directly cut this, and we can remove this. This is not necessary here, and I can call here. Okay, but as you can see, app is here, but not here. So we can make the instance of our class too. It is not necessary, but uh, for our programming, we can make this. Okay, and we can initialize it like self dot app is equal to app, and then here we can call like this self dot app dot execute. Okay, and after serving our UI, let's call our run method self dot run. Okay now save and run it now you can see here that it is showing our ui file we have not converted our ui into our python file but it is working and now let me show you how can you access the widgets under this let me show you the app.ui file first here in the ui file you will see there is one entry box for the username, one entry box for the password and the object name of username is username and object name for this one is password. Okay. And the login button name is login button. Okay. Now, so we will access these things. We will access these things from our py file. So let me show you how can you do. As you can see that we have made the instance UI for our ui file we can make it like this self.ui so that we can access our ui file into another another methods also okay so like this let's pass yourself again here and now we can uh, let's remove this one i have written this two times and now here before showing and running the method running our method will do all the things here okay so what i can do here is um, suppose there is one another method i can make another method and under this suppose i am naming it as login okay let's pass self and then i will say that self dot ui that is our ui file dot i can access our widgets the first widget is username so i can access the username okay and let's get the text let's get the text under this okay and let's pass it into suppose user user variable okay and then let's get another thing as like password okay password is equal to self dot ui dot password dot text okay so we can get the text here and now i can print our username or password like this okay like uh, let's print uh, user and then let's call here user and let's print the password and i will name it as like this password and then pass password okay okay so we are doing like this and now we can call this login method when our login button will be clicked right so what i will do here i will call like this self dot ui dot login button dot clicked okay when user will click the login button dot connect and under this we can pass self dot login okay like this Hmm. so we have done now we can save it and run our program now suppose i am passing my username like pavan and password like 1234 and let's log in then you will see that it is printing user pavan password 123 so it is working fine so guys like this you can use your ui files in your python file without converting into py file and suppose if i am doing something in my ui file okay suppose under the ui file uh let me make another 
widgets like uh, what I can do a uh, checkbox I can add here the checkbox okay and I read the terms and conditions okay like this I have made the checkbox okay so let's save and without doing anything in our py file we can run and you will see that checkbox is also here okay without converting into the py file the checkbox is also here okay so we can make the changes into the ui file at the same time we are using our py file like this it will be helpful for us okay so i hope guys you have understood all the logics if you have any doubt then you can ask me through the comment box you can ask me through the whatsapp our facebook page so guys i hope this video is found helpful for you please like the video and also subscribe the channel and share to your friends see you in next video